As the Dean, I would like to give you an idea of what we do and more importantly, how we do it. Whether we're teaching, learning, doing research or interacting with the world at large. And we are proud to say we do it the UP way. This means living and working as ethical, socially and environmentally conscious individuals who are focused on making a positive impact on society. We get excited when lives are changed for the better. Doing things the UP way is all about enabling and inspiring our students to put their values into practice throughout their careers. Successful healthcare practitioners combine academic excellence with kindness, empathy, respect and tolerance. We teach, learn, innovate, impact and live the UP way. Good morning from the Faculty of Health Sciences at the University of Pretoria. We are broadcasting live from the Future Africa Institute and campus. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Mani Bikanyo, Head of Marketing and Communications at the Faculty of Health Sciences. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the Faculty of Health Sciences Choose UP virtual event. Joining me today in studio is Prof. Tian Deyaga, Dean at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Dr. Mabel Kekane, Head of Radiography Department and Chairperson of the School of Healthcare Sciences. Ms. Salissa Anthony, Manager, Undergraduate Student Administration at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Not forgetting student Mberi Chiyorukisa, who is the Health House Executive Committee Chairperson as well as the Pulp Executive Committee Chairperson. We'd love to engage with you during today's live stream, so please treat us and let us know who you are, where you're watching from, and remember to use hashtag ChooseUP2022. If you haven't already done that, follow us on Twitter and Instagram and engage with us online. We like to focus on potential the potential of our students to make a positive difference to the world around them. The potential to produce research that shifts boundaries. The potential to heal, to relieve, to recover and restore. Discover your potential and join the movement. Follow the University of Pretoria's Faculty of Health Sciences on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and LinkedIn to be a life changer. Your participation in today's event also means that you stand a chance of winning one of four lunch vouchers as well as two bookmark vouchers. Winners will be announced throughout the duration of the program, so please stay tuned as you could be taking home one of these fabulous vouchers. Now we have an exciting program in store for you, and to kick off today's session, I'd like to introduce Professor Tian Dayaha, the Dean at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Thank you, Moni. I'm Tian de Jager, Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences. Welcome to this live event hosted by Health Sciences as part of the hashtag ChooseUP2022 initiative. Why should you choose to study at UP's Faculty of Health Sciences? Our faculty, situated on Prince of Campus, has a reputation for producing excellent healthcare professionals changing lives globally. We are creative and innovative. As you have seen during crisis times like Fees Must Fall and now during the COVID pandemic, our students successfully graduate on time. We are continuously transforming. Transformation of the curriculum, facilities and the culture in the faculty are important in addition to racial diversity this keeps us relevant and competitive. With 43 departments across four schools, 
Our faculty offers one of the most diverse range of programs for you to choose from. You can follow a career based on your passion within the School of Medicine, the School of Dentistry, School of Healthcare Sciences, or the Postgraduate School of Health Systems and Public Health. This session is focusing on exciting opportunities in the School of Healthcare Sciences. Places for these programs are limited and it includes areas like human nutrition, physiotherapy, radiography, occupational therapy and nursing sciences. Take all these programs into consideration the faculty maintains an average module pass rate of around 95%. Your success is important to us. We have academic and mental health support systems in place, and our leading hybrid learning approach will ensure that you can continue achieving success the UP way. In addition, we are well-renowned for our vibrant student life and culture surrounding it. We want you to develop your full potential in a safe and stimulating environment. Our staff are dedicated leaders in their respective fields and are passionate life changers. By using our advanced infrastructure, laboratories, libraries and leading research facilities, Students at the Faculty of Health Sciences develop essential skills and gain reputable experience. At our institutional level, <clears throat> UP ranked number one in Africa in the Union Rank Global Ranking System for Universities. On the QS Global Ranking, we were within the top 1% globally for clinical medicine, immunology and microbiology and within the Times Higher Education rankings we are the only South African university that ranked for SDG 3 that is health and well-being and are amongst the top 200 globally. We hope you will choose UP and join the Faculty of Health Sciences and become a life changer too. Enjoy the program and I trust that we will be able to answer all your questions. Thank you so much, Professor Tian De Acha. I hope our prospective students are encouraged to choose UP. Healthcare providers who graduate from UP are sought after nationally and globally because of the high quality training they receive, the exceptional skills, and the fact that they are well-rounded professional individuals. Our School of Healthcare Sciences houses several undergraduate programs ranging from physiotherapy, occupational therapy, radiography, dietetics, as well as nursing sciences. I'd like to introduce you to the School of Healthcare Sciences and Dr. Mabel Gekana. It takes teamwork to treat a patient and the University of Pretoria School of Healthcare Sciences provides the knowledge and skills that enable you to be part of the treatment and care process, even for a potentially life-altering condition. Nurses take care of patients from the moment they're admitted, as in the case of an incomplete spinal cord injury, where special care is required, from positioning the patient for X-ray imaging to reduce the risk of complications due to immobility. This daily regime continues all the way through to rehabilitation. The radiographer uses ionizing radiation for imaging of internal structures as a key diagnostic tool in different medical disciplines. They may also provide support during surgery. The images produced assist in proper diagnosis and the treatment plan required. Dietetics focuses on preventative, promotive, curative and rehabilitative aspects of human nutrition in hospitals. Dietitians design a specific diet to facilitate the process of treatment and recovery. The patient's nutritional status is assessed, monitored, and optimized through special feeds. Physiotherapy focuses on physical rehabilitation to optimize the functional ability of the patient by means of joint mobilization and improving muscle strength and functioning. The rehabilitation program enables the patient to move independently. In this case, through strength conditioning, patients gain mobilization from their wheelchairs and ultimately are able to walk again. 
Occupational therapy aims to assist people with loss of function due to disability to optimize independent and optimal functioning in occupations across their lifespan. Occupational therapists enable individuals to perform activities of daily living and provide adaptations, assistive technologies and home modifications. If you have a passion for healthcare and want to change lives, the School of Healthcare Sciences in UP's Faculty of Health Sciences can prepare you in your journey. Our academic programs are embedded in research that matters. Become a life changer and put your commitment into practice. Welcome to the School of Healthcare Sciences. My name is Dr. Mabel Gagana, Chair of the School of Healthcare Sciences. The school is made of five departments, human nutrition, nursing science, physio, radiography, and occupational therapy. I'll start with the dietetics. Human nutrition, the characteristics of a good dietitian are good communication skills, independent and motivated scientific thinking, and the person must enjoy working with food. The different areas covered by dietetics include therapeutic, community nutrition, food service management, and research. What do dietetics do? They provide you with special diets to manage the different conditions. They care for people who are not able to take care of themselves. They conduct research to help in generating knowledge that will be valuable for the future. Postgraduate programs offered by the department include M Dietetics, which is coursework, a full master's research and PhD. They also offer a master's program for other professionals, which is MSc Applied human nutrition. Nursing sciences. Beaker nursing. This degree entails theoretical and practical studies, knowledge and skills, interpersonal and technical knowledge. Nurses provide professional care to patients that cannot take care of themselves. Interpersonal Relations are very important in nursing because they work with other professions. Yeah. Evidence-based practice is important and hence nurses conduct a lot of research. The degree in B nurse prepares you for general nursing. It provides general and surgical nursing for people with different healthcare needs in hospital clinics, laboratories, private practice, and more. There is also midwifery, which is caring for the health needs of the mother and baby before, during, and after birth in a variety of settings. Postgraduate degrees include a master's degree in nursing science, and there is also a PhD. There are about 12 postgraduate diplomas which will commence in 2023. Coming to occupational therapy. The degree in occupational therapy involves the art and science of facilitating participation through occupations that people engage in daily. Occupational therapists change lives by working with people and communities to enhance their ability to engage in the occupations they want to, need to, or are expected to do by modifying the occupation or the environment to better support their occupational engagement. The, the degree in occupational therapy prepares you to work with physical and neurologically impaired uh, people, mental health problems, childhood development delays, occupations for different age groups, vocational re rehabilitation, assistive technologies for independence, as well as environmental and societal modifications. Career opportunities for occupational therapies include tertiary hospitals, private health clinic, community centers, schools, mines, government, and other private practices. Postgraduate uh, degrees in occupational therapy include a master's degree, 
where the, the studies will focus on increasing your knowledge and skills across conditions and occupation, research-driven programs, making online participation possible, individual attentions. They, we have in this uh, degree postgraduate diplomas, masters in occupational therapy, as well as a PhD in occupational therapy. Physiotherapy. A B physio degree. The students are trained to rehabilitate sports injuries, adult and neurology, spinal cord injuries, pediatrics, ICU and high care, orthopedics and public health. Postgraduate studies in physiotherapy include a master's in physiotherapy. Only research master's is offered. Candidates can register after completing community service. Candidates select their own research area and are allocated supervisors in the field. This must be completed within two to three years maximum. There is also a PhD in physiotherapy. The candidates to do this must already have a master's degree. Other uh, the career opportunities for physiotherapists include the following. Private practice, hospitals, clinics, nursing homes, schools, public health, and even tertiary institutions. Radiography. This is my degree. BRAD degree. We are offering a four-year diagnostic radiography degree. This prepares students to be imaging specialists that are highly sought of both nationally and internationally. The following employment opportunities are available. A qualified radiographer can work in a state healthcare institution or work in a private radiology or any other healthcare institution. The radiographer can also open their own private practice. They can also be technical or application specialists. They can join the academia as well. And in a big hospital, they can also be tax administrators. Following postgraduate uh, opportunities are available. The degree that we have been offering all along has been a three-year degree and for that we have always had honors degrees in diagnostics, radiation therapy and nuclear medicine. We are expecting to start an, an honors degree in ultrasound in 2023. MRAT is also available in this field of specialization. And the radiographer can also come and do PhD. In the School of Healthcare Sciences, we pride ourselves of interdisciplinary teaching and learning, where we teach our students professionalism and leadership, research and community engagement. Thank you. Now we get to announce our bookmark voucher winner. Congratulations to Sisanda Lamini. And next up, we also have our lunch voucher giveaway. Congratulations to Emma Basson and Shekinah Mabena. Keep those tweets coming and remember to hashtag choose UP. Now, as we know, our students are very multi-talented and Ross the Bros wants to encourage every one of us to get vaccinated. Check it out.
exempted from taking the vaccine. I pray that women and children and those with previous allergic reactions to an mRNA vaccine. Uh, vaccinate, 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 vaccinate. It's not too late, not too late. Don't procrastinate, vaccinate, 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 vaccinate. It's not too late, it's not too late. Don't procrastinate, vaccinate, give it a beat, vaccinate, give it a beat, vaccinate, give it a beat, vaccinate, vaccinate, give it a beat, vaccinate, give it a beat, vaccinate, give it a beat, vaccinate, give it a beat. Let's talk about the past, don't forget the ones who passed. I remember when down to start of polio and measles from the lack of a vaccine. Still don't have a repetition, get the vaccine. The side effects are at the minimum, similar to the minimum flu like symptoms. Severe allergic reactions have only been reported in a small percentage. The virus is relentless. The vaccines help our body to develop immunity. So do the right thing and vaccinate. Help stop the spread and vaccinate. Now it's time for us to proceed with our Q&A session with Ms. Celissa Anthony. Now, Celissa, Ms. Anthony, one of the questions that has come up is, now that I have been selected, what is the next step? Thank you for the question, Mani. So, yes, there are a few uh, actions or steps that uh, prospective students still need to follow now that they've been selected. One of them is to log on to your student portal and accept the offer uh, on your, uh, that was made to you. The second would be to pay your reservation fee uh, in order for you to reserve the place that was offered to you. And the third would be to complete the online contract, which is available on your student portal. Uh, students, uh, prospective students are also encouraged to complete the form and email, not email, um, send it by registered mail or courier to the university as soon as possible to avoid uh, any delays uh, during registration in January. Thank you, Ms. Anthony. Talking about reservation fee, how much is the reservation fee and when must it be paid? Very important, uh, the reservation or initial fee as it's um, known as, must be uh, is 5,000 Rand and this must be paid by the 30th of September. Uh, prospective learners, it's very important that you all pay your initial fee uh, before the due date. Um, any fees not paid might result in you losing your place, which means then we will then have to allocate those places to uh, the candidates that are on the waiting list. So please make sure that you pay your initial fee before the due date Banking details, how to pay it, are available on the university as well as faculty web page. Thanks, Ms. Anthony. And our next question is, what should my average be for final admission? And what else do I need in order to secure my place for the following year? So the minimum admission requirements are still in place. So it is important that students um, still maintain the same academic standard that they had uh, at the time that they were provisionally, select, uh, provisionally selected for. So um, provisional, provisionally selected students must uh, make sure that their APS do not drop with more than two points. So it's very crucial that you continue to work um, very hard and to make sure that you still um, maintain and get excellent results in your final uh, NSC or IEB exams. And what financial assistance is available? So the university do offer <coughs> a range of final assistance or financial aid to prospective students. The information is also available on the student portal. Um, students, prospective students may apply for NISFAS uh, there are various bursaries, scholarships uh, that are also available. And um, for anyone who wants to apply for any of these financial aid uh, options, they also need to log on to their student portal, click on the financial aid link, and then apply for the different uh, financial aid options that are available. And also remember there are due dates to apply for these options, so make sure that you submit your uh, application for financial aid, uh, whether it's a bursary, scholarship or loan, 
uh, before the due date to avoid any disappointment. Thanks, Ms. Anthony, and I'm sure this is definitely from a parent. What support structures are in place to support my child in the transition from school to university? Yes, so Prof. De Jager already mentioned also previously in his um, uh, insert that uh, there are mental health uh, programs that are available to students, but we also have an excellent mentorship program we, um, we have senior students to mentor our uh, junior students. We also have designated student faculty advisors in the faculty uh, that assist students with various challenges that they might face, such as financial uh, accommodation challenges, or even study, how to study uh, challenges um, that, that uh, they can assist students with. And which campus will our prospective students attend class? For uh, students in the School of Healthcare Sciences, all classes are attended on the Prince of Campus, which is about seven kilometers from Hatfield Campus. And this is where the Faculty of Health Sciences um, is based. Another question from one of our prospective students is, can I defer my admission to the following year? Unfortunately not. If you are provisionally selected, you have to accept the offer. If you do decide to um, not accept the offer, you will have to reapply again, and there's no guarantee that you will be selected the following year. So um, I'm sure you are all very excited to, uh, to be uh, registered as students with us. So uh, do make sure that you get all your information in, in place so that you can accept the offer. And one of the other students has asked, do I need a laptop or internet enabled device um, to be able to be a student in 2022? Um, the university um, uses a, a blended teaching and learning approach. So it's important for um, prospective students to at least have, a, uh, inter to have access to an internet enabled device like a laptop. So, um, Yes, uh, uh, it is important. Thank you so much, Ms. Anthony. Now, um, everybody's wondering, will students still attend classes on campus in 2022? The university is uh, guided by uh, the government uh, COVID regulations, um, and the university will communicate with prospective students whether they will be returning back uh, to campus to attend class uh, on campus. Um, so yes, um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but hopefully things will um, soon start to clearing up with more students and people going for the vaccination. Uh, but uh, the university will definitely uh, keep students as well as parents up to date of uh, whether students will be allowed back on campus. An important question in light of this pandemic, have any adjustments been made for applications during COVID-19? So um, we haven't, uh, it, it's, oh, just repeat that question again, <laughs> sorry, Mani. Have any adjustments been made for applications during COVID-19? So we, we really haven't had to make any adjustments apart from uh, the selection criteria uh, where we only use the final grade 11 marks. Um, for our selection purposes. And even uh, with uh, our requirements that are currently in place, uh, we have exceeded um, the number of applications, uh, you know, that, that we have received. Um, for our 2022 intake, we've received um, over 10,000 applications, um, which is always far more than um, the number of students we, we can accommodate. So uh, the COVID situation definitely has not deterred any of the um, prospective learners to, to go into health uh, care or the health care profession. Thank you, Ms. Anthony. And um, another student wants to find out, can I do an internal transfer from the EMS faculty to the health faculty? Yes, it is possible to apply um, or do a transfer from the Economic and Management Sciences faculty. However, for the 2022 intake, our applications have already closed, but you're more than welcome to apply uh, from next year, 1st of March, for the 2023 intake. 
Details about the criteria is on our faculty webpage. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Anthony. And this is probably our last question. Please explain the internal application process. So the internal application process, again, uh, student portal is very important. So if you're not quite sure how, please do familiarize yourself with the videos that are available online to access your student portal. Internal application links available on your uh, portal. You then just apply on your uh, uh, internal application link and selection is then based on your university results. So uh, again, very important that you do extremely well as a student in your first year. Absolutely, Ms. Anthony. And one more question. Does the faculty have a start date for 2022 yet? So um, Faculty of Health Sciences students already start on the 3rd of January, but the first year students will be notified of the start of the first years um, as soon as the matric results have been announced by the Department of Basic Education. Thank you so much, Ms. Anthony. Um, we have a lot more questions coming in. And next question, um, the person is asking, morning everyone, will the reservation fee be refunded to us if we are not admitted? So if you are not selected, um, then uh, you will be able to uh, request a refund for your uh, initial fee that you have paid. You only then need to submit um, or send a request to Student Service Centre, complete the um, uh, requested form, and they will then uh, pay the initial fee back to you. And the next question, Ms. Silas Anthony, is job shadowing a requirement for 2023 admission because we are unable to shadow during the pandemic? Yes, so uh, job shadowing is not a requirement uh, for our selection. However, we do encourage prospective learners to, um, if, if they are in a position, to do some job shadowing as it will give them more um, a, a view of what the profession is all about. And uh, one of, I definitely think this is apparent, once the online contract is signed, does that mean you are admitted already? So the, onla the online contract is only legally binding uh, when you register next year. Um, the online contract or after you've completed the online contract does not mean that you are um, selected. Um, in order for you to secure your provisionally selected place, you need to make sure that you still meet the minimum requirements and maintain your academic standard in order to secure your place for uh, uh, admission next year in 2022. Thank you so much, Ms. Celissa Anthony, for addressing some of the key questions that parents have. Now it's time to give away one of our lunch vouchers. Our first, our next winner is Rizwaana Bilim, and our uh, second winner is Kanya Masang Masangwani. So Kanya Masangwani and Rizwaana Bilim, congratulations on winning your voucher. Thank you for engaging. Now, your student life is one of the most exciting times in your life. Our final guest for this session is one of our very own students, Ms. Mberi Chiorogisa, who is the Health House Executive Committee Chairperson, as well as PALS Executive Committee Chairperson, who will provide us with some insight as to what it's like to be a student in the faculty at Health Sciences.
Good morning, everyone, and a very, very warm welcome to our prospective first years of 2022. My name is Mberi Shorakisa. I'm a fourth year medical student, as well as a student representative here within the Faculty of Health Sciences at the University of Pretoria. In the time that I've been fortunate enough to call myself a tucky, I've served on several leadership and student support structures, which play an integral role in assuring the, that every student's academic and social needs are met. This is clearly illustrated through our various tutoring and mentorship programs, which allow our very own senior students to academically assist our first years with course content that they may find a bit more challenging. Our mentorship programs are also very well run by staff members who ensure that each first year is matched to a senior student who will guide and assist them throughout their entire first academic year. This not only allows first years to engage with our seniors and vice versa, but also allows our first years to receive first-hand advice about the new journey they're about to embark on. We've also got wonderful faculty student advisors on board who selflessly avail themselves to assist in teaching our students a variety of skills to ensure that our students can achieve the correct balance between their academic and non-academic lives. It is also within their capacity to further refer students to student health care services should they require it. So whether you need assistance in time management or tips on how to handle stress or how to prepare for tests and examinations, our faculty student advisors will be with you every step of the way to ensure a smoother adjustment into varsity life. Our overseeing student leadership structures and societies are also intimately involved within our student body providing them with several social, sport and cultural activities such as talent shows, workshops and sporting events and socials to take their mind off their very busy schedules, allowing them to have fun and enjoy the company of their fellow students in safe spaces. Safe spaces that would not have been achievable without our university's 24-hour security services who prioritise as well as ensure the well-being and safety of every student within the parameters of all UP campuses and residences. All staff within the unit are well trained and will gladly assist our students with any security query that they may have. Naturally, all these measures culminate in a safe, peaceful and vibrant student environment that is conducive for teaching and learning. Though there are plenty of opportunities for our students to interact with one another and partake in extracurriculars, the greatest focus within our faculty is our academics and striving for excellence in our respective degree programs so that we can become confident, well-trained, world-class healthcare professionals. To enable the smooth running of all teaching and learning opportunities, our students are given access to full-time Wi-Fi connectivity on campus as well as at all Prince of UP residences. This allows our students to keep up to date with all course content that is provided online, such as live lectures, assessments and group tasks. Should our students feel the need to require extra additional resources, they've got unlimited access to our online library services. Our on-campus libraries are also well equipped with study cubicles, discussion rooms, as well as convenient computer and printing services that will make your academic journey a whole lot smoother. Our campuses are also well equipped with safe and efficient bus services that transport our students not only between UP campuses, but also to and from the various hospitals and clinics that they are trained in. And though we primarily focus on teaching our students how to medically care for patients, should our students ever need medical assistance themselves, then we also have our very own on-campus clinic, which is staffed with a nurse and doctor whose primary concern is our students. It goes without saying that I'm exceptionally proud to be part of a university and faculty that embraces community, strives for excellence and truly empowers the individual. Here within our beloved faculty, each student is holistically equipped with a diverse set of skills, knowledge and mindset that not only allows them to grow into exceptional healthcare professionals, but also encourages them to be leaders in instigating a much needed change within our communities and the policies that govern our healthcare system. So I encourage you all to choose UP, and not only UP, but also the Faculty of Health Sciences, where you will not only be groomed into an outstanding healthcare professional, but also into a life changer. Thank you so much, Mberi. I'm sure our students have gotten enough insight on what it's like to be a student at the faculty. I see we have a few more questions that have come in and we would definitely love to answer them. 
So, Ms. Salissa, over to you. When does our online contract have to be submitted? So, the online contract must be submitted as soon as possible. So, if you haven't done it yet, please log on, complete it, um, and, and like I said, uh, courier it or send it by registered mail to the university. And the next question is, what is the requirements for the marks to get accepted in healthcare sciences? So there's no, um, there, there are minimum requirements for you uh, to be considered, but complying with the minimum requirements does not guarantee that you will be selected. So it is important that students uh, or prospective learners um, try to uh, get the highest possible marks. Now, they're asking as well, as a health science student, is it compulsory to stay at Prince of Res or can you stay at any tax res? So it's not compulsory. Um, students may choose which uh, residence uh, they want to uh, stay in. Um, uh, there are bus services between Hatfield campus and Prince of campus. So if you are placed in a residence on Hatfield campus, you will be able to commute between the two campuses. And one of our last questions, does tax res have generation, generators since load shedding can interrupt online learning? Yes, uh, we definitely have generators available so that um, uh, teaching also does not, uh, is not interrupted by load shedding. Um, so students don't need to worry about, about that. Thank you so much, Ms. Anthony. Now, if you're wondering what our campus looks like, check this out. Thank you so much for engaging with us online. Now it's time to announce our winner of the bookmark voucher valued at 500 Rand. Congratulations to Sisanda Jamini as well as Tyler Vyakovsky. As with the previous winner, please DM us on any one of our social media platforms with all your details and we will let you know where you can collect your vouchers. Thank you so much for joining us today. We wish you all the best for your exams and we look forward to welcoming you to our family at the Faculty of Health Sciences.